why physics engineering specifically, all the job prospects that it opens up to somebody who has studied not only physics, but also somebody who has also seen the more practical, the more industrial part. There's lots of opportunities even for uh, students who are only in the first or the second year of the bachelor's degree and that the professors will still show them the ropes when it comes to research. What was very particular about physics engineering course when I had read through the course description and everything, there was even a necessary segment in the seventh semester, I think, which was related to a paid practice within one of the companies like Bosch or Siemens or Semilab. And I really thought that it would be a nice way to apply what I had learned within the previous three years of the bachelor's degree immediately after graduating in some sense. And afterwards I could choose what to do, whether I wanted to go to stay with more theoretical stuff like research, or on the other hand, if I wanted to stay in the industry, I could, and I could get a pretty high paying job just by applying what I had previously learned. Studying is not only about um, information and concepts and knowledge. It is also about how we interact with people, what kind of friendships we make, what kind of people we meet professionally uh, with respect to the professors. And I think that the social engagement is at a pretty high level here. That's the first thing which was a very positive surprise for me, that the students are even willing to organize seminars for other fellow students who are interested in a topic or to organize open lectures. And even that within the faculty, they are given that liberty to do so. They have all the resources it is just up to them how they will use it. The other thing would be perhaps the interactivity of the classes. Uh, there, is, there are many professors who have uh, excellent approaches to teaching mechanics and uh, electrodynamics, for example, Dr. Takaj Gabor and uh, Dr. Kopapal. Uh, they have decided entire segments of their lectures to just uh, demonstrating experiments and practically showing us what their subject is about. And that was a pretty interesting thing because I had only seen it on the internet before uh, at some American university with um, Dr. Walter Levin and I could not simply believe that somebody was doing it within Europe and that was perhaps the most positive surprise when it comes to the classes. Then we have the laboratories. In the labs we have solid equipment uh, and we have good guidance. I think the good guidance is probably the more important part. The professors will always explain it to us multiple times if we need to uh, pay particular attention to some device or some method. They're always willing to discuss with us uh, what, are the, what are the ways to refine a measurement, for example. So in that sense, they're pretty open for discussion with the students. That would be the opportunity to participate in research, even as a, uh, even as a freshman student that uh, the professors are willing to go in-depth with some materia uh, with the students that they choose and that the students in some sense receive very good and very profound mentorship. So if somebody wants to go in towards a more theoretical journey, they can. They're given all the liberty to do so. And there's many different ways in which all these different potentials can be used. In the end, it's all up to the student. It's never a problem to ask somebody out for coffee and then we can discuss the course material that we have to learn for a midterm or for some kind of project. It is never a problem to find somebody who, who wants to cooperate with you and to exchange the, exchange the opinions, the thoughts. There's leisure activities also being organized at the university, so we went ice skating a couple of times with the people from my course. We made a movie night in the F building where we usually have our uh, physics classes. We made. Uh, pancake baking events sometimes. But aside from that, I would also maybe draw attention to the fact that we have even on a couple of occasions had tea parties with a couple of our professors where we could ask them about their life, their research, their studies, if they have any advice for us. And that was also a pretty good occasion to meet the professors um, as people, not as educators in that sense. And it's also very important for soft skills because in natural sciences usually that's, that's not the most important thing that's being uh, promoted, but soft skills are also very important. The people from the course, there's brilliant ones and there is many of them who, wor who organize and make their own projects. We first make contact with our classmates so it's easier to connect to them in that sense but lots of them are passionate for the craft and that's what drives me forward when it comes to studying and learning. It's easy to get inspiration when you're around the people who, who are equally into the subject as you are. Definitely they are the people who are pulling me forward when it comes to academia. <laughs> What foreign students usually don't do when they come in groups is that uh, they don't really interact with the, with the local people, so with Hungarians, which is not such a good thing in the sense that they will miss out a lot of the experiences that they could have here. So I would highly recommend that for anyone who comes here, uh, that he also takes up a share of the local culture, 
uh, try, uh, maybe tries to learn a, a few words of the language here and there. Even in the vocational college, they really motivated me to start learning the grammatics and the words and everything. I would highly recommend that kind of engagement as well, since it could, it could make your stay here a lot richer.